With over a million animal species, on our Earth, it would be difficult to categorize them into different groups. However, with the help of basic fundamental features, such as level of organization, symmetry, cell organization, nature of coelom, segmentation, and notochord, scientists have classified animals into various groups. Let's understand each of these basic fundamental features in detail. Level of organization is the first basic fundamental feature that deals with the pattern of cell organization in an animal. There are four pattern of cell organization. First cellular, second tissue, third organ, and fourth organ system. Sponges exhibit a cellular level of organization, where cells are loosely arranged. Tissue level of organization is more complex and is displayed in cilia traits. Here, the cells that perform the same function are arranged into tissues. Organ level of organization is exhibited in members of platyhelminths and other higher phyla. Here, the tissues are grouped to form organs, and each organ performs a particular function. The last cell pattern is the organ system level of organization. Here, the organs are associated with one another to form a functional system, where each system performs a specific physiological function. Animals like annelids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms, and chordates exhibit this level of organization. Organ systems can also differ in complexity in various animal groups. For example, platyhelminths have an incomplete digestive system where a single opening outside of the body serves as both the mouth and the anus. Whereas humans have a complete digestive system, there are two openings, a mouth and an anus. You will also find two types of circulatory systems in animals. Open circulatory systems and closed circulatory systems. Symmetry is another feature by which animals are classified. They can be asymmetrical, like sponges, or have radial symmetry, like cilian traits, tenophores, and echinoderms. However, most animals, like annelids, and arthropods have bilateral symmetry. Cell organization is the next feature used for classification. There are two types of cell organization, diploblastic and triploblastic. Cilian traits have diploblastic organization where the germinal layers of the cell consists of an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm. Members from phylum platyhelminths to chordates have triploblastic organization, where a third germinal layer, the mesoderm, is found between the ectoderm and the endoderm. The fourth important feature by which animals are classified, is the nature of coelom. The coelom is the body cavity, lined by mesoderm. The presence or absence of this cavity, helps classify animals. There are three categories, coelomates, acelomates, and pseudocelomates. Coelomates are animals, 
that possess a body cavity, such as annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates, and chordates. Acelomates are animals, in which the body cavity is absent, such as platyhelminths. Pseudocelomates are animals, that possess a pseudocelum, such as ascomints. A pseudocelum, is a body cavity in which, the mesoderm is not lined, but rather, scattered between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Some animals, are also classified on the basis of segmentation. The body of some animals, can be divided externally, and internally, into segments. Sometimes, the segments of animals, have serial repetition of some organs, which is seen in earthworms. This phenomenon is known as, metamerism. One of the most important features, for animal classification, is the presence or absence of a notochord. Some animals, develop a rod-like structure on the dorsal side, during embryonic development, which is known as the notochord. Animals with notochord are called, chordates, while, animals without a notochord are called non-chordates. Members of phylum periphera to echinoderms, are non-chordates. We just studied, how we can classify, animals, into different categories, on the basis of some fundamental features. Animals, belonging from phylum periphera to phylum echinodermata, are categorized as non-chordates. Non-chordates are animals without a, notochord, 